Welcome everyone. Today we'll learn how to implement unit tests for your Angular application. So as a prerequisite, we'll download a simple Angular application from this GitHub repository. I'll provide the link in the description below. So I open the project folder in VS Code. Don't forget to install the node modules by running the npm i command in a terminal. It spans the add folder, which includes the three elements that we want to test in this demo. The first one is a custom currency pipe that transforms a value based on the currency code. So basically, if the currency is CLP or Chilean pesos, we'll return the transform value with no decimal digits. If the value is different from this currency code, we'll return the currency value with a maximum of two decimal digits. The second element is a product service which performs HTTP calls and has the HTTP client dependency. It has two simple methods. The first one is to get a product. Product is an interface with ID and name. Based on the ID, it will return the product. And the second method is to create a product and return the new ID. The final element for this Angular application is a register using component which uses Angular reactive forms to create a simple form and to add a new set by validating if the form is valid to create a new product by passing the form value and subscribe to the observable when the API call is successful will set the value of the ID control to the new ID will check if the observable returns an exception will set the error message property with the message that comes from the section. So go and test the custom currency pipe. Go to the spec.ts file and configure the environment by calling the before each method. Clear test bed that configure the testing module and add the provided section with the currency pipe, which is a dependency. This is a built-in currency pipe from Angular that we are using to transform the value. So add in the providers section this dependency and the custom currency pipe itself. Define a property for the pipe to access from the unit test and then initialize the pipe with the test bed that inject a function, create a new instance of this pipe. So write the first test to check when the currency code is Chilean pesos, it shouldn't return any decimal digit. So describe the unit test. Let's apply the triple A pattern, arrange, add, and assert to write the unit test. The range section create a new value with decimal digits. So in the add, we'll store the transform value from pipe that transform function by passing the value itself and the currency code, which should be Chilean pesos. And in the set section, we expect that transform value, which is a string, will split with the dot symbol. The length of this split should be equal to one because we don't expect any decimal digit. This should be true. And define the second scenario when the currency code is different from Chilean pesos and it should return any decimal digit. So change the currency code and the length of the split should be greater than one. Add the F at the beginning of the described word to run only the test from this spec file. Save it in a terminal type ng test. Both tests have passed. Now go to the second element, which is the product service. Go to the spec.ts. Let's configure the testing module. So in the configure testing module, add the imports array and call HTTP client testing module to perform HTTP calls. So import this module from Angular common HTTP testing and create a testing controller property to mock and flush request. So this will be test bed that inject of type HTTP testing controller. Declare this property in the spec file. So the first test call to the get by ID method. So it should call get by ID. Divide the unit test with the arrange at and assert sections. So in the first section, create a constant for the ID that we wanted to pass. So in the add section, 
will call service that get by id by passing the id and we will subscribe to the observable to perform the http call we will use the testing controller property to get the request from the new api call so you have to call testing controller that it's paid a single request that has been made from the expected url so the url should match with this value so let me copy and paste it here this will be service.api url and passing the id as a query parameter it should match this request and in the asset section we'll expect that this method should be a get and we'll call testing controller that verify to verify that only one request was fired so remove the f to the custom currency pipe and test only the test for this product service so add the f at the beginning the test has passed so add the second unit test for the create method so it should code the create let's arrange so create a new product of type product and set a name in the add section call the create method by passing the product and subscribe to perform the http call the url from the request should be different so it should service that api url you can validate it going to the create method and this is the url which is this fake api url so go back and test that the method should be a post and verify that only one http call was performed run the test and the test has passed now go to the component to test the register user flow so we already imported the register user component the register user component typescript file has two dependencies one for the angular reactive phones and for the product service so in the provider section for this testing module add the form builder and register the product service dependency add a property for the service by product service to mock the calls from the create method so remove the feature that detect changes and initialize the service by calling test bed that inject function of type product service and in the import section it's important to use the http client testing module now write the first test to validate when the form is invalid it shouldn't call the create method from the product service so it should not call the create method by invalid form so write the unit test with arrange at an assert sections in the arrange section we spy the service that create method to spike the call to this method and the form is invalid because the name is required for this form so it's not set so go to the add section and call that component that add user so in the asset section we expect that the component that form is invalid so it should be true and also we expect that service that create it should have been called so remove the f from the product service and run only the test for this register is a component spec file so the first test has passed when the form is invalid now validate when the form is valid it should create an user so it should call the create method so spy the service that create method but return a value from this observable so use the off from rsjs to create a new observable and we will return an id so create a constant for the id will return this value and the add section just call component that add user will validate that the id control that value should be the same id that we mock in the service that create method it should be the same and we expect that the service that create should have been called so test the test has failed because we're not setting the name in the form so in the array section call component that form and patch the value from this form define the name which is a required value and test again it has passed and the final unit test is to check when the http call throws an exception so it should call the create method by throwing an exception but in this case we'll return an exception 
from this observable. So we'll use this throw error function from RxJS and we'll return an error message. So define an error message in the array section as a constant to check in the asset section. So this observable should return this error message and in the asset section, we'll check that the component that error message property should be the same error message that we passed in the create service and we expect that service that creates has been called and we'll use another assert function which is to have been called with the component that found that value because we're calling this create method by passing the form value let's run the test we successfully have created all the tests for the register user component now remove the f from the describe what to run all the tests from the application and we have seven tests passed with no failures let's see the code coverage for this angular application so stop the test clear the console and type ng test to see the code coverage at a flat Call code coverage and run the command. It opens the browser with all the tests and it returns a coverage summary in the output terminal. We have 100% of coverage. This command also creates a coverage folder in the project. You can see a detailed coverage report in this index.html. So let me open this in the browser. We can see a detailed code coverage report by file. So in this demo, we'll learn how to implement unit tests for your Angular application.